Ratio and scale measurement. Let's do two examples. First one, a map has been made to a scale of 1 to 60,000. Let's look at that first. 1 to 60,000. The first number is the scaled number. Okay? It's the refers to the dimension that's on the map in the drawing of the model, say model car, whatever the question is. The 60,000 represents real life or the actual uh, value of the dimension. So, for example, one centimetre on this map will represent 60,000 centimetres in real life. One millimetre will be 60,000 millimetres. So, whatever is on the scale drawing will multiply by 60,000 to see what it's worth in real life. The rest of the question says, if a distance between two locations on the map is seven centimetres, how far apart are the locations in real life? Well, seven centimetres this is telling us it's going to be 60,000 times larger. 7 times 60,000, 7, 6 to 42, we've still got our four zeros. So, 420,000 of the same units. 7 centimetres on the map represents 420,000 centimetres. Now, if we need to convert to metres, centimetres and metres, well, there's 100 centimetres in a metre. The unit's going small to big, so this number will go big to small. So we've got 4,200. Now if we take another step to kilometres, which was requested, there's a thousand metres in a kilometre. Units going small to big, the number will go big to small. The decimal points here, divide by a thousand, gives us 4.2 kilometres. Okay, another problem. Sample two, we're in the other direction. The first one was a reduction of real life to fit onto a map. Now I've got a tiny flea and we want to look at an enlargement to be able to represent it. Uh, better for the naked eye. So in this case it'll be a larger number to one. Okay the first number is still the scaled number. The second number is still actual. So the question says the length of the flea in the photo is 9.4 centimeters. What is the length of the actual flea in micrometers? Well the actual flea, so that's the question part, we want to know this. The scaled is a 9.4 centimetres. So once again, we look at the relation between these two. How did I get from here to here? Well, divide by 100. Basically, it's saying that the actual is 1 hundredth of what you see in the picture. To get from this side to this side, 100 divided by 100 will give me the 1. Whatever this number was, I would have divided by itself to give me 1. So, if I divide by 100 to find out the real length, I'll get this 9.4, and similarly I'll divide by 100. 9.4 divided by 100 becomes 0.94 and then 0.094. So we've got 0 0.094 centimetres. Okay, well, we need to get to micrometres. The next one down from centimetres, let's go to millimetres. Well, 10, 10 millimetres in a centimetre, so it's a factor of 10. Uh, the units are going from big to small, effectively, so the number will go small to big. So a movement by 10 will be 0 0.94. So it's 0.94 millimetres. Now if we want to go to micrometres, we know the factor there is there's 1,000 micrometres in a millimetre. The direction, well, millimetres is big compared to micrometres. So the units are going big to small. The number will go small to big. 0.94 times 1,000, 1, 2, 3, gives 940 micrometers. Okay, there's the example or two examples of ratio and scale measurement.